I'm AJ Douglas here in the Cairo neighborhood. Right now, it looks like I'm just standing in an empty lot, but if you can believe it, the city council here is working to use this empty space to create more affordable housing. I'm talking to those close to these efforts to find out how a project on this scale will impact housing in this community. You're going to also have uh, rental houses that come open because people are going to move from a rent to a buy situation. Real estate broker Charles Renaud says the city's decision to apply for $2.5 million in grant funding through Georgia's Department of Community Affairs is the right move for Cairo. It's a, it's a game changer. The Rural Workforce Housing Initiative aims to aid rural communities through grant funding to establish economic opportunities in an effort to expand economic security among rural areas. City Manager Julian Brown says the proposed 70 affordable homes would fill a growing need. So with the housing shortage, um, we really were trying to hit, find that sweet spot where school teachers, people who work for the city, uh, maybe healthcare workers, can find an affordable home. If approved for the grant, homes will be priced between $170,000 to $220,000. Now, the Georgia Department of Community Affairs released the Georgia Housing Needs Assessment, reporting that roughly 29% of all Georgian households were estimated to be a cost burden in 2019. That means that homeowners were paying more than 30% of their household income on monthly housing costs. If the grant is not awarded, then the price of the homes would be increased. Locals like Renaud say affordable price points for his clients are closer to the $100,000 mark, but right now inventory is low. It's a price point that we're not filling right now, but hopefully, you know, with these grants that we can start attacking. The City Council plans to submit that application in September, but renters shouldn't start packing it up just yet because even if that application is approved, the funds won't be ready until January of 2025. In the Cairo neighborhood, I'm AJ Douglas for ABC 27.